Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're studying comparisons with percent. And this concept is almost the same as percent of change. In fact, it really is the same idea. Let's look at it. You already know about percent of change, where we were looking at when something, for example, changed price. You had one item and we looked at the same thing at first and then at a later time, comparing the two. And there was an increase or decrease. Now we're doing the same thing, but instead of the same thing at an earlier and a later time, we have two different things we're comparing. So, for example, it might ask how many percent more, or how many percent taller or smaller or bigger or whatever, one thing is than another. And we do the same thing as with percent of change. We write this fraction. We figure out the difference, the actual amount, how much the one thing is bigger or smaller or whatever than the other, and then compare that to the reference item. Examples will make this clear just in a moment. And then once we have our fraction, then we just convert that fraction into a percent. Maybe first into a decimal and then into a percent, but anyway. A loaf of bread weighs 660 grams, another weighs 800 grams. How many percent heavier is the second than the first? First, we will calculate the actual amount that this one bread is heavier than the other, the difference in their weights. So 800 minus 660 grams, that would be 140 grams. And then over here we put the reference weight. We need to figure out which one of these breads is the reference bread, so to speak. And that would usually be mentioned after the word than over here, okay? We are comparing to the first bread. You have your first bread, and then the second bread comes along, so to speak. And you are looking at the second bread and comparing that to the first bread. So the first bread is 660 grams. And now I have my fraction here, where there's the difference over the reference. Basically, the difference, 140 grams, we just need to figure out what part of this bread's weight is the difference here. So I have my fraction and it simplifies to 14 over 66, which simplifies to 7 over 33. But at this point I need a calculator. And from the calculator we get 0 0.212121 to 1 repeating. And so this as a percent now is 21%. So the second bread is 21% heavier than the first bread, about one fifth. Over here, we have two classes and maybe they both took a math test or something. And the first class got an average of 80 points in this test, and then class 2 got an average of 76 points. The question is, how many percent words did class 2 as compared to class 1? Now think about it yourself. Can you write this fraction, difference over reference? The difference is easy, it is 4 points, right? Over reference. Which of those classes is our reference class that we are comparing to? That's easy too, as compared to class 1. We are comparing to class 1. So over here we put 80. This one is easy. 4 over 80 simplifies to 1 over 20. And this as a percent is easy too, right? because we can write it as something over 100. 20 goes 5 times here, so 5 goes here, and we get 5%. In other words, the class 2 did 5% worse as compared to class 1. Now over here we have two meals. Let's say you are walking on the road and looking at restaurant windows and you see advertised meal that is $40. And then you walk some further and you see in another restaurant another meal that is $50.
And here's a question. How many percent more expensive is meal two than meal one? You first found the cheaper one and then you go on and then you feel a little disappointed maybe that you found a more expensive meal. Okay, I want you to figure this out yourself. Okay? Okay, now let's look at it. We need our fraction here, the difference, the actual difference in the prices. It is $10. The other meal is $10 more expensive. And then we compare that difference to the meal one, $40. This one is easy, right? 10 over 40 is 1 fourth, which is 25%. Now I'm going to change the problem on you. What if it asked over here more expensive? It asks how many percent cheaper is meal one than meal two? Just the other way around. Now solve it. This time, the difference is the same, right? The difference in prices is $10. It is $10 cheaper. We compare that to the price of meal two, $50. So we get one-fifth. It is one-fifth cheaper, which is, of course, 20%. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.